Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Total War Warhammer. Re we've rewound time just a little bit. We're going to give this another go. Now, there are a couple of things that we can change. A couple of things that we can, uh, we can do here to help ourselves out. Number one, uh, I did not do a good job of keeping my flying cavalry alive. Uh, I was I was too eager to sacrifice them to trade them off for stuff, and while it was important to get the Hell Cannon stopped, I think that it probably would have been a lot smarter to do it in a different way. And to be perfectly honest, once our units were engaged with their units, it does remove a little bit of the danger of the Hell Cannons, because they seem somewhat reticent to fire into melee. So that's one thing. <clears throat> be more cautious uh, with our flying units, because they are powerful, and we can use them for a lot of cool stuff. Uh, thing number two, the magic. Uh, I spent a lot of power on a chain lightning that didn't go anywhere. And I'm wondering if I might be better off just laying really hard into the stat buffs and debuffs. I haven't used those spells so much. Uh, not nearly as much as I've used the direct damage spells over the course of all of the campaigns that we've played so far. And I'm wondering if maybe I'm undervaluing them. Uh, the other other thing I have to remember is that the actual damage from my archers is going to be fairly minimal. And that I probably should not have them targeting the same things that often. Because the point of the archers is to spread around that poison debuff. We were close-ish. Sort of close. I think we can get to a position where we have a functional army when Sartoriel the Everwatcher shows up. War has brought us to these we don't have to be as broken as we were. I'm just gonna silence Medivh here. We got flaming swords, we got all kinds of magic. We just have to play a little smarter. I have to play a little better. I have to be better at the video game. I have to say, though, uh, you know, I don't... I don't always love to play a game that I can't lose. Um, it's nice to be able to lose. Because being able to lose means that you have room for improvement. And there's very little that I enjoy more than a game at which I can improve. All right. Things I think I did well. I thought my control of the cavalry was a lot better. It's still not as good as it needs to be, but it was definitely better. We, we cycle charged a little bit more. I still left them in for too long in some places. Right, we're going to put our spellcasters way over here so that they can help to engage right away. Actually, there's no good reason for these guys not to be over here as well. But let's... Move the casters out to the sides just a bit, so that we don't have to worry about them uh, tripping up the knights. Oh. Uh, this group. This group is what I wanted. Actually, I have these guys split up all funny. You are the shock cavalry. There we go. That's right, the Grail Guardians are the ones who are supposed to be able to stay and fight. These guys are the Shock Cavalry. So actually, I don't think I was applying my cavalry correctly last time either. Luen on his horse, and then you guys. <clears throat> now, something I haven't really done a lot of uh, with, with these guys so far, but that we need to talk a little bit about, is um, width and depth of formation. If you think a group of infantry is going to get charged by an enemy, you want to present them with a deep formation, not a wide one. A formation that looks like this, while it has a lot of area coverage, uh, and is somewhat less susceptible to siege weaponry because there are fewer guys clumped together, uh, is really weak against a cavalry charge because the cavalry just goes straight through. A unit that's set up like this, say, and takes a cavalry charge to the front, will cause some of the cavalry to sort of get stuck in the unit. And... Uh, fewer of the unit will actually get charged because the cavalry will get a couple men deep and then get halted. Uh, now granted, cavalry can just charge from the side of this unit and achieve a good effect. So you want to try to uh, 
control the depth of your units, and that's definitely something that we need to get better at. Okay. I have my vague idea about how to how to do this. So you guys are the shock cavalry. Okay. I put them on the wrong sides. Oh, and after I regrouped them, I didn't... <laughs> after I regrouped them, I didn't uh, reset them, so they're standing all mixed up. Ugh. Dumb me. Dumb me. Alright, run. You'll have time for walking later. Alright, so we dealt with this first group pretty well, but we can do better. We could take even less damage. So I think I'm going to try to um, save more power for healing as well. Very few of our units were at their HP regeneration cap when they died. So we could definitely have some more of that. And I think we're just going to not rush the Hell Cannons right away. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what they do. Because they do want to get rid of them, obviously, and they can do some serious damage to us. Alright, I wanted to let the normal cavalry get out of the shock cavalry. I don't know what their plan is. They're kind of spreading out all funny. He just shout wreck them? I, mean, I don't disagree, but uh, terminology strikes me as a little modern. Alright, you guys need to get up here. The archers should not be targeting the same unit, right? So let's have one group of archers target here. One group of archers target here. What is this my... It is. My allied lord just like stuck himself as deep in their formation as he could. Alright, so you, Tristran, can fall on the back of these dudes. Alright, we're going to use our flyers as support for existing units. Okay. Rather than sending them off to do crazy things by themselves. Okay, we don't really have a lot of units taking damage yet, but this might be a good time for some Harmonic Convergence. Overcast is 10, and it still only affects a single target. Um, what can we do? Ooh, this isn't bad. Hell yeah, drop their melee attack in their armor. Good. Good plan. Maybe it would have been better to do it a little earlier. <clears throat> Oh wait, these are the normal cavalry. They can mostly stay in. Okay, we pretty much routed them without taking any meaningful damage. I like that. That's a good start. So you guys should turn this way. So this is Archaeon right here, right? And they're doing the same thing. They're keeping back a Lance Knight unit and a Halberd unit to guard... The Hell Cannons. That is a frustrating strategy because of its um, complete lack of idiocy. Who taught them to behave in a f like reasonable, functional way? Alright, you guys need to start thinking about this. Our infantry troops have to have to change targets way earlier than everybody else. Okay, so you guys are doing really well. Uh, one thing that's important to remember uh, with these guys is that the Life Wizard spell um, does not resurrect the dead. It will only replenish the hit points of injured combatants, which means that damage like this, where, see, this unit has already lost a figure, it's down to 14 men instead of 15 men, uh, we can't heal that. So healing spells are... Uh, are just going to be less effective for us than they were for the vampires. It's a thing that uh, is worth noting. Thing that we'll have to keep in mind. 
All right, so we'll send our shock cavalry around. Pull the flyers up. To this side. And I think what we'll do is, this is not a large group of units, and we can fight them without everybody. So the flyers will go over here, and the shock cavalry will go over here, and we're going to try to bring these defensive troops out of position so somebody can hit the hell cannons. Luen has not joined combat yet. Um, hey, Luen, go in there and, you know, just just show the men that you mean business, you know? They'll want, they'll want to know that you're here and ready to actually do some work. Uh, I don't think we need to keep on these enemies too much. Uh, Luen can probably handle that by himself. Tristran is... Tristran, go after those guys. Nah, you know what? Their lord is actually still up. Let's let's go after that guy. Oof. The Hell Cannon Fire is mostly hitting our ally, and I feel kind of crappy being like yay about that, but I kind of I'm kind of yay about that. Luen, go get Sigvald. Okay. You guys are doing some fine work there, but maybe this would be a good time to actually you know, attack. So what is this? What are, What is being cast on us? Can I tell? Because this looks friendly. It's green. But I don't know what it is. It looks like something that probably, like, one of their guys is casting on us. Yeah, I don't know. Right, you guys maybe need to go a little bit more this way. And... I don't know. I guess we're not really casting yet. I'm going to have my Cav charge there, Cav. Just not stand still so that we're... Ooh! Aluan took a serious hit there from the Hell Cannon. The Hell Cannons mostly seem to be missing, which is good for us. Uh, can you guys maybe... You know what? Poison Archaeon. And you guys shoot these in the back, because they've sort of engaged in a way that doesn't really make a lot of sense for them. I think they're going to regret having done that. I know I'm pausing a lot, but I'm really trying not to screw up here. Okay, I don't think it makes any sense to do this. Their lord is just about dead. Uh, why don't we run over here? So we have some guys who are injured now. This is a good time to throw out the first Earth Blood, maybe. Yeah, this will keep some of our uh, our charging dudes safe as they enter combat as well. Okay, trying to make sure that we don't have any troops distracted or engaged on things that don't matter. The enemy lord is dead. Fantastic. Let's immediately reassign those guys. I'm having trouble selecting my paladin here. Tristrin. A very important job. Tristrin and Luen and you are going to get lance formation. Fall back. Let's see if we can sandwich these guys up. Uh, he's not actually going to catch us, is he? Damn. I thought his horse was, like, really heavy and barded. Just fast as hell, though. Well, those aren't actually my knights. Um, probably we shouldn't have Tristran... Where's... Where'd Luen end up? Oh, Luen's right there. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> I was going to say, probably we shouldn't have Tristran fall on uh, Archaeon himself. But the two of them together, I think, should be able to do this. Alright, hurry, hurry, hurry. And Deadly Onslaught. This will be a good time for some resistances. Alright. So these are the stand-and-fight cavalry, right? Even so. 
These guys don't look like they're as fully engaged as they could be. So I'm going to have this unit pull out. Actually, this unit too. Try to get back, and if we can get separated, then we can hit these warriors again from behind. I think this part's going better. Uh, we didn't end up taking the second heal. But we could drop a big armor buff on our cav over here. Oh, we're not close enough. How, how, how not close enough? Oh, okay, she'll be there in a second. They could really use a little, a little love. Looks like our Kaon's totally getting his ass beat, though. Victory is in our grasp, they said prematurely. Ah, oh, man, our cavalry are taking a serious beating here. But it's a lot of injury, so you notice we can't see... Like, this shows us where the regeneration maximum is. So these units haven't actually lost a lot of figures, because their maximum regeneration hasn't fallen. They're just taking a lot of damage. Uh, to be perfectly honest... Really? It's this one guy over here and then all those guys over there? Never mind. I guess fire into these dudes. Yeah, I don't know where these guys are going. Alright, uh, Tristran is going to have to bail. I'm having a devil of a time selecting him. Tristan is going to have to get on this immediately. And if Luen bravely rides into uh, into the rear of the enemy there, and our men all see him saving their lives, uh, think of all the swooning. So, one unit melee defense and attack. Or we could curse the Midnight Wind them again. Yeah, let's do that. Let's curse the Midnight Wind, like, right here. Okay. This has to be microed a little bit. Alright, commit. You don't have to do a lot. Okay. To be perfectly honest, that's good enough if we can get out. Uh, the flying units are more likely to be able to escape, unfortunately. Uh, what looks like the angle of escape? It's probably this way. Oh, I forgot that some of our units are engaged over here. Well, that's fine. Grouping these dudes back up is probably a good idea. Actually, never mind. You have a better target. Right, those guys elected not to turn around, and they shall pay for their insolence. Somebody shoot at them now. Yeah, you keep shooting at them. Yeah, we've disrupted the um, the hell cannons enough that they won't be able to fire for a little while, at the very least. So if we could just get out of there. Come on, guys. Run. If the flyers could take to the air, and the knights could get out of there. Oh, these, these guys are grail knights. Okay, here come the Pilgrims. Alright, we just need to stay out of the Halberds. And at this point, actually... You guys have done a fine job. Start moving. I know it's going to be a walk, but... Uh... Yeah, let's get over here. Okay, so... <clears throat> You need to retreat to arms here. And our shock cavalry need to come forward. We can help clean this up. Or the, sorry, the standing cavalry can come and help clean this up. Hey, Tristan. 
You don't actually have to chase that guy all the way out there. They have dramatically overcommitted <laughs> their dudes. Yeah, you can see him turning around realizing that the Hell Cannons are screwed now. If I can hit these dudes in the back, it'd be pretty good. No, why did you come down on that side? <laughs> now, their halberds don't actually provide them defense unless they're set when we hit the charge. Right, the archers are almost in range. Uh, we do need to give these guys some proper marching orders. Things are not going too badly, though. I think this is better than we were doing at this point in the battle last time. I do want to hit a lot of guys with a lifeblood. Once we finish um, cracking these guys apart. Alright, disengage. Here come the halberds, so let's not be here anymore. All right, they've, the crew is trying to re-engage with the weapon. We can stop them from doing it just by staying near the weapon, basically. Get him. Yeah, these guys, these guys are total suckers. Wow, we got a lot of damage to the crew on that charge. Disengage. Let's not actually fight any halberd, guys. Okay, this is working out okay. There's still like one or two chaos dwarfs down there trying to run this thing. Oh, I think we may have actually blown up the cannon. It looks. It looked like it may have exploded there. Got him. Good charge. Okay. Don't actually stay in and fight him or anything. I don't want. Don't want any of that nonsense. All right. So let's gather up. Get everybody in nice and close, and do the greatest lifeblood of all time. Okay, you guys can stop shooting. Let's preserve some arrows. So this is yeah. This is the the Thunder God guy. I don't know what his deal is. Okay. So can we overcast Lifeblood? Extended effect duration. Okay. I really want the melee units to or the infantry units to get into it. And yeah, they'll get there in time. With the effect duration being extended. Oh. Juke it, juke it. Ooh. That's a lot of lightning. Okay, we got some pretty good healing. Some of our units went all the way back to full. Uh, one of you keeps shooting at him. Another started on these nerds. Uh, so Dragon Ogres, a Shagoth, which is a bigger Dragon Ogre. And then, of course, Kolek Sun Eater. Greatest Ogre of them all. Uh, I think... Just rain the poison on the Shagoth. Now this part I'm a lot less sure about how to engage. Our force is definitely in a better place. I just don't know how to I don't know how to fight these guys. So we could curse the midnight wind them as they get close. Strong versus multiple units. I really wish that we had an attack that was just a single target like let's kill this guy kind of thing. I might just throw 60 armor out. That's, uh, that's a single unit thing and it doesn't have an area cast. Hmm. We could do an Awakening of the Wood and reduce their speed and then try to like bombard them with more arrows as they come in. But I think what we really want to do is uh, fan the cavalry out. Our cavalry are not currently in any real kind of formation, unfortunately. But let's fan the cavalry out get ready for those charges in the backside. I don't know how much magic they have. At once. 
So I'm not 100% sure how I want to engage in regards to uh, the flying units. Like, if I want to just fly over behind them and then come down and hit them in the back after proper engagement or what. <sighs> Alright. It's important that we don't lose everything here, you know? This really, this really broke us up pretty badly last time. These guys are terrifying fighters. You know what? Why don't you engage? Just make sure that goes down. It says faster and stronger enemies nearby. It might be referring to the, um, the hippogriffs. These things are spooky. I don't know how we kill Colix on either. I just, I just don't know what to do. All right, let's plan to engage 22 seconds before we can lifeblood again. Or earthblood, rather. We'll take it. Tristran still hasn't even had to use his potion. We will probably use it if he gets engaged in direct combat with Kolek. You know what? If they're going to split up like this and give us the opportunity to sort of, like, surround one of their units, I think we're going to take it. Alright, uh, just hit some of these dudes. Just give them the poison. Luen has to stay close. I want people to feel secure, and he makes them feel secure, but... I don't want to engage the flyers until the melee hit. I don't really want to engage the cavalry until the melee hit. These foot squares are leading our attack. Okay, here they come. Never mind. Redirect. Hit him in the back. Let's do it. Uh, so the question is, how much do I sacrifice to Kolek, basically? How many of my men are going to basically just keep Kolek from getting into the wizards? One of you should swap to him, and... It looks like he's headed for the cavalry. Alright, disengage, disengage. It's not working. That's actually, if he really wants to chase cavalry, we definitely let him do that. Get him! Don't let him get away! This is actually working. Alright. The time has come. Collect Sun Eater. This is... your shit is over, son. Okay, uh... Do we have lifeblood yet? What's it called? It's not called lifeblood. It's called earthblood. Alright. Everybody who fights Kolex Sun Eater gets earthblood. <laughs> Let's commit some dudes. Oh, wow. His morale tanked. Come on. Come on. Come on, Lewin. You can catch him. A foe seeker. The thing is, if he gets away, we're going to have to fight him. We're going to have to finish him off after Colec or after um, Sartorial shows up. I'd really like to not have to. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him with your abilities. Hit him while your stuff is up. Stop just running behind him. You can catch him. Ah. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Okay. Everybody home. Okay, let's form up near our allies. This looks a lot better. You know what? I'm kind of glad this happened. Because I feel like I really... Uh, I learned about some things that don't work and some things that do work from this. Alright, uh, Luen, fall back. You fall back. 
That should be all the chasers, right? I guess the archers still have some kind of like weirdly defined orders, so let's have them fall back too. Sartorial, Sartorial comes. We'll just let him come. Oh, hey, they did kill him. Nice. These dragon ogres could turn back around. They're shattered. Is shattered the one where they can't come back? There's some running away state where they don't come back, I believe. Or maybe it's just that if you keep them running for long enough for them to get off the map, they don't come back. Okay, now our archers are just about out of ammo. What has he actually got? This isn't so bad. We can do this. So let's form up over here. Yeah, most of these most of these infantry troops are nowhere near their regen threshold, so. Okay, our ally is gonna try to get themselves killed before we can get to there get over there. That's really annoying. I wish they wouldn't do that, because that weakens my position too. Alright, uh Casters move up, flyers. Flyers head this way, maybe? <clears throat> They don't have any ranged troops aside from Sartorial, who is a uh, powerful wizard. Come on, fall back to me. Oh, get out of there before it gets bad. Oh, yeah, that wasn't so bad. Oh, he's splitting his army up. This actually may be, uh, may be the best possible thing for us. Okay, so... Sartorial so and these guys just get that poison debuff out there. This is the standard fight cavalry. Alright, why don't you do this? Let's just commit to them. These guys are in good position for a, uh... For a charge into engaged enemies. Wait, wait, wait. We want the leftmost of our guys to try to engage here. A couple of us are going to have to try to get in on Sartorial. Unfortunately, there's not a lot that can be done about the fact that we just have to, we have to swamp him with melee dudes. Alright, and the Royal Hippogriffs hit him from the... Well, actually, you know what? Let's have them hit the Chaos Spawn. Because they're immune to fear and everything, they'll be, uh... They'll be good targets for this. And again, my plan here is not to go after their strongest unit first, but to clean up a lot of the other units. Well, Luan, you get in here and make sure your men know that you are leading from the field. Get in there. Oh no, don't get swamped by the Forsaken. Alright, excellent. Tristran, go fight. What are you doing? <laughs> Alright, uh. Honestly, just like heals. Oh, Sartorial's dead. I think this is basically... I think this is basically over is something I said before. Let's not say it again. Hold on. Let's wait until they actually give up. Then we'll call it over. But we have killed all four of the Chaos Legendary Lords at this point. Look at the difference. This isn't even a narrow victory. Yeah, the, the difference between playing a battle well and playing it poorly is just so, so big. This was a really, really good thing to have happened. I hope that you guys uh, feel that you've learned a lot from the way this episode went and the way the last episode went. Because I feel like I learned a ton. Alright, so that is 
the end of that battle, I believe we were at 992 chivalry going in, and I the battle, in addition to us gaining chivalry for the victory, I believe completing the quest gives 20 chivalry. So that, I think, should be the end of the game. I think we did it, you guys. I think we just won. And it turned out to be more difficult than I thought it was going to be, but also still, I think, quite a bit shorter and quite a bit less difficult than uh, all of the other campaigns we've run so far. This is really cool, and I really respect that uh, Creative Assembly released these guys for free, because I think that although their experience maybe is not quite as uh, as diverse, sort of like mechanically meaty, as uh, as some of the, the other factions, I think that they do provide an interesting play style uh, and some really cool flavor. All right, let's... Let's not count our chickens too soon, though. We've won when the game says we have won, and not a moment sooner. Oh, look, our unit our, uh, our unit of horses that disappeared halfway through the battle isn't actually dead. They just fled the field like cowards. Also, I'm pretty pleased that our, um, our kills are spread, like, pretty evenly over all the armies. That makes me feel like, uh, that makes me feel like everybody was a contributor. I didn't bring anybody who was, like, totally dead weight. Foot squires are real good. Ooh, gained by de defeating Arcan the Ever Chosen, immune to psychology. It's so cool that there are traits that are that specific. All right, we did it. Chivalry, we are at ten twenty-two. Our march through the chaos wastes was indeed tough, but at last we have been rewarded. So, I guess it's not going to check the thing until the end of the turn. In camp, for the love of Christ. <laughs> I mean, I, I could just hit end turn. But I'm not gonna. We earned these levels, alright? Sure, take up the lady's mantle. You deserve it. Good work. Chill right the benefactor. I don't even know where this dude is. Oh, he's back here. He did good work, too. Fantastic moves from everybody. Whew. That right there is an ultimate campaign victory. Uh, let no one say otherwise. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this series as much as I have. Uh, I do intend to play some more Total War Warhammer, although I may take a little break. I know the schedule's getting a little bit full. There's a lot of cool stuff happening. Uh, I'd like to get back to a couple of things that are releasing DLCs and all that kind of stuff. So, come back next time. Whenever next time may be. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's enough... That's enough notifications, damn. Uh, and by the way, it looks like we won the game not a moment too soon. Anyway, come back next time. I have no idea what it's going to be, but I hope to see you then.